Hello and welcome back. I'm Lord Dragon Tree, and today we're playing some Runic, and the volume on this music restarts every time. So, yeah, you may have seen this game out here. It's uh, relatively new, quite fun. Um, graphics aren't the greatest, but you know what? I forgive it for that. For the simple reason that it lets you do things. Like, if you can imagine something after playing a little bit, you can probably, you can probably get it done. You can make the build work. Um, this one I like to call the Fiery Comet. And I'll, if everything goes correctly, then I'll demonstrate that to you later on. Fiery Comet of Doom, Death, and Destruction would probably be a little bit more accurate. So, uh, we're using the Devil, which 10% chance to burn on all spell activations. Um, Pyromancer Staff, which adds a linked spell on burn. And then I've got the, uh, the the Farmer's Hat, the Straw Hat, that adds plus one to spell size. And since we're doing an aura build, obviously, uh, that's going to be useful. Oh, hey, look at what we got. I'm going to grab the Pain Rune for now. Give us that little bit of extra deeps that we want. Oh, almost took a hit there. The goal is to not get hit in the early game. I'm really bad about that. Uh, don't want any of that, so we'll just grab an extra HP for now. Never hurts to have that little extra survivability in the early game. Because uh, Aura isn't the strongest early on unless you get very specific things. You can see we're doing 3 damage. Which, great for AoE over time. Does a lot of DPS. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, so much good stuff. Crazy? Absolutely. But it works. See, now we've got two, and every time we apply flaming, we get an extra little uh, ring of death and destruction. That pops up, and eventually, we're going to make it so that that ring pretty much never goes away. Oh, hey. So I am not going to combine just yet. I want the, uh, the rings to be doing their things and uh, triggering that second inner ring, uh, because that is where a lot of my damage comes from. Well, that's just lovely, ain't it? Yep. This one, we're grabbing Massive Aura. The primary purpose of this aura... Ouch, cat. Ow, cat. The purpose of this aura is to set things on fire, which, you know, it's doing nicely. A little bit of extra damage, reduced mana costs, also going to be helpful. Is, uh, if you take a look, this has a mana cost of 20, this has a mana cost of 30, which, you know, a bit of a pain. Uh, here we go. And then Lingering. We're going to increase the duration of our inner spell pretty significantly if we can. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into this. Now this is going to be basically a full 20 minute build because my every time I do this, my goal is to see how quickly I can kill the Juggernaut. Like, is it going to take me X amount of time? Is it going to take me Y amount of time? I'm just grabbing that for now. It's not ideal, but... It's not my preferred weapon, or preferred choice. But, whoop, here we go. Got these little gnomes doing gnome things. I'll be... I'm so glad when this wave is over. Making me move. I signed up to play a bullet heaven, not a bullet hell. More flames and death for you. That's all you deserve. Burn. Burn in the fires of my wrath. You see how quickly those things went down? The, uh, the, the golems? Yeah. Yeah, they don't, when it hits that inner ring, they don't last long. Alright, now we can go track down that first guardian. Oops. <laughs> Here I am saying they don't last long. That's because I haven't triggered enough flames. As you can see now, we have triggered enough flames. For now. But, yeah, it's a very fun little build. And I'll show you why I call it the Flaming... Comet of Death, Doom, and Destruction in a little bit. 
Just gonna hunt down this guardian. Start the burning. Start the burning process. Also, if you stand in this, it doesn't kill you right away. So if you cross the line, not great, but you can get some deeps going without just dying instantly. Ah, Ivory Knight. For space bar to dash a short distance, dealing damage equal to your level that any enemies dash through. Except, we're not doing it that way. We're doing it a different way. Okay, now we move to the inner circle and add more flame. Chance to it. There's more flame chance means more chance to uh, trigger the inner circle. Which is perfect. There's more trigger chances is more wins and more death and more XP. So next goal is of course to uh, and there's no cooldown on the dash, which is cool. I like it. Another thing about this game, like it's not trying to stop you from making overpowered mega builds. It lets you, which I really appreciate because so many games don't let me do that. And I love finding ways of breaking it. I'm no spiffing Brit, but I'm sure he would appreciate this game. Okay, we could go, f let's grab a shield just cause. I like having that free hit. Could go for the three hearts, you know, gain an extra HP and then HP regen, but eh, shield works for me. Ah, here we go. And here's why this build is so powerful. One of the reasons. So, semi-permanence. Plus 10 duration, plus 200% mana cost. Crazy, right? Well, remember, link spells, no mana cost. So now, every time we light something on fire, well, almost every time, whenever we trigger the Link spell, it lasts forever. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Yep, it gets better. It gets better. So we don't actually need this mana regen, uh, instead we're going to grab force. We're going to build the damage on that interior ring as much as possible, much like we're going to be building the fire damage as much as possible on the outer ring. All right, here's some more DPS. Just add that to the inner ring, plus 30% again. Not perfect, but it works well enough. And we're gonna go ahead and track down the second guardian. Because we can, and why not? Especially since it's the friggin' Gnome King. And he's dead, look how quick that was. All right, Living Scythe. I like this one because it does damage based on your level. Um, I did confirm that. So the your level is how much damage it deals, I believe, like 90% sure. Yeah, 17, right there. Because I had it uh, doing 40 a while back. It was basically one-shotting all of these guys, which was crazy. So yes, I am kind of blitzing through these originals. Um, originals. These first few sigils, mostly because I just want to get the uh, bosses knocked out and uh, then not have to worry about time until the end. Because with my build, um, yeah, I want as much XP as I can get. And unfortunately, I'm not getting much in the way of these uh, experience scrolls, which I really, really, really want to get more of. Because uh, the more experience we can get, the better. All right, we'll grab another one of these. And I'm just going to sit here for a hot minute, keep defending that sigil, and then we'll go kill off the boss. Light a few more things on fire and then just kill them all like that. It's not even a challenge. Now, I don't think I can just one tap. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, it's just an insta-kill. Flaming Comet of Death. So, yeah, that's the, that's the basics of this build, and I'll be honest, it just continues to grow the same way from here. Um, event, if you watch the whole video, great. If not, you've seen what you came here to do. Try it yourself. Um, you can also, if you want to get really crazy, add another thing on the end here to link on kill or even um, add another flame chance. Like Here, I'll show you. Perfect timing. Upgrade this. So, you have two you can do this one, I don't do it. 
You can do this. Inferno, 100% chance to apply burning. Pretty good. Or 35 plus the 10% from your devils, 45. Apply one linked spell when applying burning. Pyromancy. Which means, you guessed it, we can add a third aura. So, we'll just nimble hands this. Pyromancy this. And, oh, look. We have another aura. Yeah. Is it crazy? Just a little bit. Do I care? Not really. And because the, uh, so the trigger um, for our, this spell. So it's got uh, three durations. So I think four ticks or something like that. Um, yeah, four ticks. Basically it means every tick is having a chance, a uh, 45% chance. Remember, plus the 10 from the devil. Um, every tick has that chance to apply. So you have four chances at 45% to apply burning to everything. And, uh, yeah. Which means our interior ring is enough to zap these guys. Just completely murder them. It's pretty crazy. I love it. Now, we don't insta-gib the boss. We've only got a few instances running, and we haven't actually upgraded the uh, interior ring to get to the perfect point. Uh, yeah, let's just grab Necromancer Hand. Extra healing is always good. We're going to go ahead and find that last sigil. Also, pro tip, if you uh, try to merge three of the exact same runes, so let's so say three massive auras, it does not merge. So once the rune has been upgraded, you can't re-upgrade it. I tried. I actually managed to get the full... Actually, I had a blue one of these and then three of the green ones. So I was able to confirm you cannot upgrade one of those. Um, one of the upgraded runes cannot be upgraded further, at least not as of today, whenever this is. Which is fine. You can do pretty much everything else in your build, including summon enough ghosts to break the game, which is fun. Yeah, the split upgrade, I believe, has plus 10 split, and so when you're applying fire as quickly as I am, yeah, it gets crazy. All right, so since we've already got one inner rune, we're going to upgrade it to Lingering Aura. Upgrade that Lingering even further. And so now we've got the outer ring and the inner ring. And the inner ring lasts a long time. So yeah, the next uh, next 12 minutes, I take that back, the next 11 minutes are going to probably be me just farming. So yeah, if you want to see the rest of this, skip to the end of the video. Um, you know, like three minutes before the end or something like that. And you'll be able to see the remnant. Uh, here we go. And how quickly we're able to kill the Juggernaut, if we are able to. So the only thing worthwhile on Aura, really, is a uh, powerful force. Everything else kind of requires a projectile. And this doesn't have projectiles. There's no piercing, there's no bouncing. You can get split on this, which looks kind of crazy. Especially when you have the, like the Aura, in, like the interior Aura. That just completely turns into a fizzle mess. Like, the screen fizzles inside, in this area right here. It's just completely filled with burning or dots or whatever because it's bouncing all over the place. Okay, so I think... Yeah, we can grab another one of these and just extend it. And I think it'll still be in range to grab... Yeah, that one can be extended because it's not going to kill things too quickly. The main thing is you don't want to get it too large, otherwise you kill stuff outside the pickup radius. And remember, we're being lazy. Our goal is to stand here and make money. Well, XP. Same difference. Yeah, let's, let's show you what happens with the ghosts. Every time burning. That's with a single ghost equipped. Just one. 
you can kind of see why it's so powerful. Now imagine if I had Bounce or something else. Yeah. Real crazy. Well, let's uh, nimble hand, remove the nimble hands and add lingering. All right, let's set some fire to things. Get that inner ring going again. Okay, that was that noise. Picking up HP even though we don't need it. Uh, at one point, oh, so if you're going to do this bill, do not pick up slow ice. It is not worth it uh, because it takes too long to get everybody in. I've had uh, one of my run-throughs had all these golems were stacking up outside because they couldn't get through this outer ring um, quickly enough. So there was just this massive mob of golems surrounding me. In fact, that's how I found out about the uh, little dash mechanic and how effective that is. Especially once you've charged up the inner ring. Or in my case, inner rings. Because, yeah, you know, it's fun doing that. And the more X, once you get to a place like this, getting uh, scrolls for XP, super important. Because um, once you get the scrolls upgraded, you can get more rune slot options, which very helpful. We'll grab nimble hands again. Just because it's the least useless of the upgrades if I decide to go a little bit more aggro. And we've got enough uh, mana regen that we could actually put that on without it being an issue. I know, this is a super exciting... Yay! Finally! More XP. Which is exactly what we want. Hey, let go of my shirt, you know. Grog the Barbarian is grabbing it. My foot? Are you going to bite my foot now? Yeah, is that right? I had to lock him up in my room earlier today because uh, maintenance was coming by to fix the garbage disposal, which, humorously enough, just needed to be reset. Didn't know that. Oh well. You learn something new every day. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, look. More useless. Eh, we'll grab more HP. I like more HP. You are a silly boy. I'm giving you scritches. Yeah, quit meowing. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but... Him being a cute boy. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, once you have enough enemies on the screen, they're all swarming at you. It kind of almost look your, your viewpoint almost feels like when you're driving through snow. It's just kind of like you're being pulled in. Also, don't watch this if you've got a migraine because those flashing red lights, when they get zapped, oof. Yeah, it's painful. All the XP. All right, come on. Send me some big waves. Doot, 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 doot. Sadly, there are no big waves. Well, there's, there are a few big waves coming still, but they're uh, not here yet. What are you getting into, kid? He's gone and ran into another room and is jumping at the wall. Ah, here we go. Now we will break things. So when you go in Aura, I recommend reliable damage because well, this gives you plus 10%. This gives you plus seven to a, just a flat three. So this is a 230-ish percent increase, something like that, to your damage, which is really nice. You go from uh, doing modest damage to just murking everything. Look at this. As soon as they're there, they die. If they enter into the inner ring, they go boom. It's not even fair, which is exactly how I like it. You can also do this with a couple other things. So I tried, um, so bolts are also pretty cool um, in this first slot. So I used uh, bolts with some splitting and everything else to catch the fire. And it did a pretty good job, especially if you get uh, the... Uh, boss upgrade that allows for, oh, here we go, lingering, the boss upgrade or artifact that allows you to project, shoot a mirror projectile, procrastination for this one, 
and allows you to do the uh, mirror projectile at the back so you actually double your amount of projectiles. Very helpful to uh, get the amount of fire you need to keep the inner ring going. Especially considering with this aura build, everything that goes in the outside aura will burn. Um, so that technically the aura applying the burn is a lot more efficient, even with, I think I had uh, eight or nine projectiles, which you get a lot more if you, I didn't manage to level up a split. So I only had uh, I think eight or nine projectiles at one point instead of like plus ten or some ridiculous number. Oh yeah, let's show you the splitting. Because it's crazy. See that? Yeah, so we've got an additional aura, interior aura going off every time. And you can see how crazy it gets. It's also the reason I don't actually run split. You don't need it. You can get it. You can get that extra aura going off, and it's crazy. Because the damage, minus 10% damage on 10, it goes to 9, you're still at 18 damage versus 10. So, theoretically, it is better. Especially since these are all still going to be covering this interior zone. I personally simply like the method I've got a little bit better. Man, I would really like to get some of these... Uh, you know, upgraded options for my scrolls. Because I've only got six minutes left. And the XP is going to be coming in more slowly. Because what I want to do is show you my triple comet. So you saw the, uh, if you've played it all or seen any of the upgrades, there's also a focused aura, which means that your inner aura would be about right in this little circle. So that's what we're going to be trying for. Uh, it does a little bit more damage and just adds in that little extra oomph which is quite nice. Actually, so if you do the split on this, so the 10% counteracts the minus 10%, you're doing 10 damage, effectively 20, um, with the split. Here we go. So we're gonna upgrade this, do do do, and put it as focused aura, minus 50% size, a little bit more damage, I mean, 4 damage versus 3 damage. But, it gives you that nice inner blast zone, which I really like. It just means your Flaming Comet of Doom is that much nastier. So, I could just spend more time, but... We've already got plenty of deeps, so we're going to track down this final Guardian. Whoa. Let me get a little bit further away. Look how much damage we've done to him already. But what we want to do is set as much stuff on fire as we can and see just how... Look at this. No damage taken. Nothing. Spiders. Nothing. In fact, the Juggernaut is probably the only thing. One tap. The rest of his health gone. And we weren't even at full stacks on our uh, inner ring, or middle ring. Yeah, that's how crazy the aura build is. The flame aura build, I love it. It's so much fun if you just want to do something ridiculously OP. The, uh, the ghost build is also a lot of fun, but it will lag your computer. Anyways, thank you for watching, and if you enjoy this content, like and subscribe. I'll probably be getting back to some of the uh, regular colony builders and eco games soon. I just downloaded Stardew, so expect that to be making an appearance soon. Anyways, thank you for watching. You have a lovely rest of your day.